Hi everyone, welcome to Excess Prescriptor and Muscle Knowledge series. Today we are going to talk about tibialis anterior muscle. According to me, tibialis anterior is one of the underrated muscle in the human body. As usual, we will start with naming why this muscle called tibialis anterior. Because this muscle attached on the tibia and situated anterior to the tibia. So this muscle called tibialis anterior. Next, we will move into attachment of tibialis anterior muscle. Proximally, it attaches over the anterior aspect of the lateral tibial condyle and also proximal intraosseous membrane. And the tibialis anterior muscle passes the ankle joint medially, it starts laterally, proximally, and passes the ankle joint medially and distally it attaches over the first cuneiform and first metatarsal bone. Next, we will understand the functions of tibialis anterior. Function I always categorize stand and move action and reverse mover action. Standard mover action is nothing but most mobile attachment initiation is moved towards origin that is called standard mover action. Standard mover action of the tibialis anterior. These fibers are running vertically and attaching to the cuneiform and first metatarsal bone. If the pulls happen in this way, it creates the dorsiflexion of the ankle joint and also the tibialis anterior passing the ankle joint immediately if the fibers are pulled in this way the force is transmitted to the calcaneus and rotate the rotate the subtalar joint inward so the tibialis anterior helps in dorsiflexing the ankle joint and inward the subtalar joint when it comes to reverse mover action origin has to move towards incision incision has to be fixed when our feet is planted on the ground knee move forward knee move forward if the fibers are pulled downward, so tibialis anterior reverse mover action helps to dorsiflex the leg at the ankle joint. When our feet is planted, when during the gait cycle or uh, five inch ankle dorsiflexion mobility, these are the situations our leg is moved to produce the dorsiflexion. That time, tibialis anterior muscle work reverse mover. Isometric stabilization function of tibialis anterior it stabilizes the ankle and subtalar joint and also plays important role to support and stabilize the arch of the feet by pulling the first cuneiform and metatarsal bone superiorly key features of tibialis anterior proximal attachment of the tibialis anterior is connected with the quadriceps and forming superficial front line and also the tibialis anterior proximal attachment connected with the it band and forming spiral myofascial line the distal attachment of the tibialis anterior and peroneus longus also called fibularis longus these two muscle forming the stirrup face appearance and to support the arch of the feet i'll tell you how the tibialis anterior attaching the first cuneiform and the first metatarsal peroneus longus also attaching to the same place passing under the passing under the feet and laterally to attaching to the fibula clinical correlation of the tibialis anterior if this muscle is overloaded or overworked tight or painful the situation called anterior sin split this is most common in sudden increase in physical activity overrunning overrunning and jumping activities without proper load monitoring is the main reason for anterior sin split hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video see you in the next video bye